Hi, Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Sunny Jahir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Today, I'm going to present about health promotion. In this presentation, you can know what is health promotion and what are the centers of health promotion and strategies of health promotion and action to develop school health promotion and criteria for school health promotion evaluation law pertaining to school health promotion in Sri Lanka. First, what is health promotion? Health promotion is the process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. It moves beyond a focus on individual behavior toward a wider range of social and environment intervention. We can clear from this above definition is the promotion of health is not something that is limited to behavior of single individual, but it is a broader concept that refers to involvement of entire society. It is only by empowering yourself as a person who has a capability to control and improve the factors that affect your health and that of your family and the society that promotion of health can be made reality. Next, uh, what are the centers of health promotion? Health promotion can be carried out in various settings. We can make health promoting centers as our home, village, school, city, etc. And next, strategies of health promotion and action to develop school health promotion. First, formulation of health promotion, promotion policies. The development of health policies can create a healthy environment. In that, school health promotion policies. Uh, these are the sum of school health promotion are listed below. Students should provide it with the adequate knowledge on health. Clean drinking water should be available in schools. School must have hygienic canteens and dental services should be provided in school below 12 years. Next, second one is building an environment favorable for health promotion. In that we can categorize into three, into three as a physical, mental and social environment. Under the physical environment, provision of clean drinking water, provision of adequate toilet facilities, proper disposal of waste, school gardening, building classroom with adequate light and ventilation, provision of adequate sport facilities. facilities. And mental environment, students should not be insulted. There should not be any form of abuse. All students should be treated equally. Counseling services should be established. The school environment should be free from stress. In social environment, to safeguard from democracy, availability of space for group activities, healthy student-teacher relationship, providing opportunities for sport activities, availability of program to spend leisure time in useful manner. Third one is community participation in health promotion. The community had to conduct dengue eradication campaign, conduct Ramadana campaign, constructing sport ground for school, reducing cigarette sales outlet around the school to prevent school children from being introduced to smoking are some of ways in which the community can aid school health promotion. Fourth one is developing skills required for health promotion. Consume healthy food and follow an active lifestyle, able to face and manage life stress successfully. We can develop uh, these skills by developing these skills, providing knowledge through books, educational workshops, and contain group competition, debates, sport competitions. Our skills can be developed to the health promotion. Fifth one is provision of required for health promotion, required services for health promotion. 
provide with iron and folic acid tablets, mm -hmm. animal school sanitation survey, provide adequate sanitary facilities, is public health inspector carries an annual school center survey through which areas can give rise to the illnesses or accident are identified and measures taken to prevent them. Next is criteria for school health promotion evaluation. The school accepting the need to follow established health policies recognition of health policies that can be carried out by the school, identifying methods of carrying out these health policies. In order to improve health promotion activities, school and initial evaluation of the school health promotion status could be done using a set of criteria. Mm -hmm. And these are the uh, criteria that can be used to evaluate the successful, successful. And our last section is laws pertaining to school health promotion in Sri Lanka. Compulsory health education from grade six to nine, according to the syllabus, and compulsory provision of health facilities under that ensure that the well is protected, provide one toilet per 50 students, create an, an accident free school and accident free school environment, carry out dengue education programs, and prohibit the consumption or sale of unhealthy food, prohibit the possession or use of cigarette, alcohol and drugs, and make a good healthy life. That I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.